Hello and welcome to Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Today we're flying in Delta One, Delta's premier business class suites from here to LAX. Our journey begins at Atlanta's Terminal E and Gate E18. Waiting for us when we arrive is our beautiful aircraft, one of Delta's flagship Airbus A350-900s. Delivered to Delta on September 29th of 2022, November 518 Delta Zulu has only just celebrated its first birthday at the time of filming. Although the 787 still holds a special place in my heart, the A350 has certainly grown on me in terms of looks and presence. The streamlined nose, blended wingtips, and iconic raccoon mask make the A350 one of the best looking aircraft out there. Beneath each wing sits a Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine. With a maximum combined thrust of 168,400 pounds, these two engines will propel us to a top speed of 590 miles per hour, or Mach 0.89, at a cruising altitude of 43,100 feet. We might have a bit of a wait before boarding, but it's a good thing I've got the perfect game to help pass the time. That's right, it's Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a massive online RPG with millions of players worldwide and mobile graphics that rival even that of console and PC quality. There's over 800 unique champions to collect, billions of ways to customize your champions, and tons of awesome bosses to take on. Winter's well and truly here, and Raid has no shortage of icy cold champions to make for the perfect snowbound squad. For example, Sir Nicholas is a powerful HP based Void Legendary Champion, so he's already top tier. In a winged chimera attuned with ice, Totora Rhymehide is a fierce and fearless fighter to have by your side. The holidays may have come and gone, but Raid is still here with a massive present. The Cursed City is one of Raid's largest additions, with a hundred stages to complete, some where you'll need to take down two of Raid's bosses at the same time. And even more presents are coming. Get involved in Raid's Christmas Story. It's a special holiday-themed event where you can follow Sir Nicholas through a festive story. It comes with many games to solve and the chance to win both in-game and real-life prizes, ranging from epic and legendary champions to even Amazon gift cards. All you need to do to join the event is head to RaidXmas.com. Click the link in the description or scan the QR code to get some insane bonuses like the epic champion Drake, energy refills, and more available only through the link below. And find me in-game at Lone Star Trips. Thanks to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Boarding begins about an hour before departure. It's only a matter of minutes after the process begins that the first class group is called, and we can head down the jetway to meet our A350. Taking our first steps on board, we head across the cabin, and for the first time in my life, turn left instead of right to head into the business class cabin. Delta One is Delta's premier business class, and our A350 is laid out in a 1 2 1 with a total of 32 suites. Suite 3D is our home on this four and a half hour flight to Los Angeles, the private accommodation a huge step up from anything I've ever experienced before. Our seat is flush against the windows, of which we get two. Even rows are staggered and have the seat closer to the aisle, so for a more private experience be sure to stick with an odd numbered row. The central suites are staggered in a similar manner with no honeymoon suites, i.e. the seats directly next to each other. A partition in between can be left open for couples traveling together, or closed for passengers wanting some extra privacy. The cabin itself is beautiful. Delta has done a magnificent job turning this space into a place to be, a fact helped in part by the removal of the central overhead luggage bins. Of course, we'll have a look at the full suite once we're in the air, but for now we can get settled in ahead of departure. Before boarding concludes, our lead flight attendant comes through to confirm our meal selection and to offer us a drink to start off our evening. On flights between 900 and 2,299 miles, Delta offers complimentary dining to first-class passengers. With our evening departure time, we'll be served dinner on today's flight. Delta allows passengers to select their meal up to 24 hours before departure. The menu includes curry chicken salad, pumpkin ravioli, a cheddar cheeseburger, and the option we'll be having, the Fox Pro Short Rib. For our first beverage, I went with a classic cup of coffee. Boarding soon concludes and our aircraft pushes back from gate E18 to begin its taxi out to runway 9 left. What I only now realized in post is that E18 is the very same gate we arrived at when we last flew on an A350 from LA to Atlanta, so it's only fitting that we depart from the same gate heading back west. Taxiing out, we get a great view of some of our sister A350s and the many terminals of the world's busiest airport.
Lining up on runway 9 left, our pilots advance the thrust levers and away we go. Our A350 climbs out over the Atlanta suburbs, our Trent XWBs giving us the thrust we need to ascend the sky. In hindsight, I should have gone with rows 5 or 7 for a better view of the engines, but we can still see enough to enjoy them. Turning our attention back inside the aircraft, it's time to take a look at our fantastic Delta I suite. From a first glance, these suites are gorgeous. Delta's deep blue lines the seats, with accents of red in the logo and backsplash of the small storage area. More blues can be found on the forward partition, the fabric illuminated by a bar of light below to complete the Delta branding. The entryway to each suite appears wide at first, but the console beside us narrows the walkway significantly. No traditional seat back pocket is provided, though a small literature hold is found in the suite corridor, inside of which is the sick bag and safety information card for our A350. Each seat features a quilted leather pattern, the Delta One branding embossed on the headrest. Delta's premier seats are 20 and a half inches wide and 76 inches long when in bed form. That's about 52 centimeters wide by 193 centimeters long for metric users. Because of the bed functionality, legroom at each suite is immense. I have more than enough room to stretch out fully with space to spare. The seats are plenty comfortable with good support on the bottom and backrest. A seemingly common addition to business class suites like ours is a shoulder strap in addition to the usual lap belt. The one in our suite extends from between the headrest and main seat back and clips on easily to the main belt. Above us we find two air gaspers, a feature that Delta chose to opt in on and a welcome one at that, reading lights and the LCD no smoking and fasten seat belt sign. Half of each suite space is taken up by the main console. The console includes a rather interestingly shaped shelf, below which is a bit of lighting, the outlet, USB port, and headphone jack. Behind the shelf is a small storage cubby, inside of which we find a complimentary pair of noise-canceling headphones and a small bottle of water. The headphones are fairly comfortable, though the soft padding on the cups and headbands start to give way after extended use. The noise cancellation is certainly lackluster, and the audio quality is fine for complimentary headphones. The main plus to using these is that they have a built-in splitter for the dual plugs of our A350. Flipping up the console armrest, passengers will find a small, strangely positioned mirror and the IFE remote. Pushing the release button pops the remote up, allowing it to be removed from its holster. On one side are the general IFE controls, a gamepad, and the light and attendant call buttons. The backside features a full keyboard for in-flight messaging. Each Delta One seat is controlled via touch capacitive panel found on the forward portion of the main console. Adjustments for the seat back, bottom, and leg rest are all found here, with three seating presets for takeoff and landing, relaxing, and lounging. There's also a special fourth preset to convert the seat into a lie-flat bed, which we'll have a look at later on. Pressing and holding the presets moves the seat automatically to the set position, with each adjustment taking only a few seconds. The suite lights, which include the feature light, cubby, partition, and shelf light, can all be controlled via the capacitive panel. When adjusted, a light bar will appear above the suite light buttons, indicating which level of lighting has been selected. The feature light adds a warm glow to the side of our suite, the control flicking it on and off as needed. 
A Do Not Disturb button is also found here for when passengers want to get some extra rest. A secondary control panel is located just beneath the armrest for when the suite is in bed mode. Pushing the table button, our tray table pops out and can swing out across the seat. Because we're closer to the window, it does mean that we're trapped in while the table is extended, a less than pleasant aspect should you need to use the restroom when dining. As a premium seating option, these Delta One suites are amazing. They're spacious, comfortable, and well-appointed with modern amenities. I'm delighted to be able to experience such an amazing business class, and more importantly, share it all with you. If you're enjoying our flight in Delta One so far, why not hit that subscribe button? It's totally free, and it really helps support the channel. I also want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons and channel members. Y'all are amazing, and I cannot thank you enough for your incredible support. If you too want your name in the video, or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. Dinner is served as we level out at our cruising altitude. Releasing the table, we can swing it out into its dining position. Through comes our cabin crew with a white tablecloth, followed quickly by another complimentary beverage. This time I went with something more adult, a rum and coke. Our meal is soon served, and boy does it look good! The Fox Rose Short Rib seems to be the go-to meal for Delta One passengers, and I can definitely see why. The short rib comes paired with roasted fingerling potatoes, carrots, and turnips, with a feta cheese and pecan side salad, and a chess pie bar for dessert. The side salad is fresh, though the buttermilk ranch is a little too salty for its own good. The short rib is awesome. The sauce is sweet and tangy, and the rib is super tender and rich with flavor. The assortment of vegetables are all well seasoned, their light notes pairing well with the short rib. Dessert is a little bar of chess pie, served with chantilly cream and pie crust crumble on top. It's rich, sweet, and delicious, tying off a wonderful dining experience. As a whole meal, this dinner easily comes in at a 9 out of 10. Everything was excellent, bar the salad dressing, and for my first first-class dining experience, it was really something special. With our meal finished, the crew comes through to take up our plates. At the same time, they also unlocked one of the best features of our suite, the door. Pulling on the handle slides the door shut, our private suite now sealed off from the rest of the cabin. Of course, it's not a full enclosure, but having a private space feels fantastic. It is worth noting that the crew will pass you by for service if your door is closed, so keep an eye out for when a snack or drink service is starting. In-flight entertainment is offered through the integrated 18.5-inch screens. They don't tilt or pan at all, but the viewing angles are excellent, so no worries there. Delta offers a wide variety of TV shows and movies, and plenty of information about your flight. With most of the services now out of the way, it's time to enjoy the best feature of any business class seat, the lie flat bed. Holding down the bed button sees the seat transform from upright to lie flat in a matter of seconds. Swinging my legs into their cubby, I'm pleased to find that I have more than enough space to stretch out completely. Even at 6 foot 3, I am still plenty comfortable, and on a long haul flight, I would definitely be able to get a good night's rest. As a part of the bed transformation process, the seat descends into the suite, which makes those full height doors even more effective. From down here, it really does feel like it's just me on this plane, and I absolutely love it. We may be heading west, but sunset comes well before we reach LA. With the exterior light now fading, the crew kicks the mood lighting into high gear. A purple haze descends over the business class cabin, the blue of each suite's backsplash adding a note of contrast. With the aisles now clear of the dining service, we can hop out of our suite to check out the bathrooms on board our A350. There are a total of 8 bathrooms on our aircraft, two of which are exclusively for our business class cabin. Each bathroom is definitely on the nicer side of aircraft facilities. The hands-free sink works well with temperature controls on top of the faucet head. Beside it we find plenty of soap, a new addition of hand lotion, and plenty of paper products. 
the bathroom lighting is quite fancy, with LEDs integrated into the mirror. It's also very clean, and again holds a spot as one of the nicest I've seen in the air. The second service comes about 90 minutes before arrival. On offer are a variety of complimentary snacks, the basket of which the crew left out on the first row of our cabin. From the options, I went with a pack of pretzels, dark chocolate cookie squares, and a bottle of water. Below us, the lights of the greater LA area begin to creep across the landscape, our A350 descending to meet them. Inside, the cabin crew flicked on the interior lights, indicating we would be beginning our final descent into LAX. Pushing the upright button on our console brings our suite into its landing configuration, the door requiring some manual intervention to prepare it for arrival. As with all premium seating options, Delta One comes with a hefty price tag. The going rate for a seat from ATL to LAX in first class is around $1,300 to $1,400 one way, which is over double what Comfort Plus would cost on the same flight. I, however, did not pay nearly that much. Somehow, I was able to score this suite, plus a first class ticket from Austin to Atlanta, for just $653.20, for about 46% of its original price. Why it was this cheap, I have no idea, but for the opportunity to fly on Delta's domestic first class, it was definitely worth it. With the frequency of flights in and out of LAX, it's not uncommon to spot another aircraft on a parallel approach. In lockstep on this occasion is one of Alaska Airlines' Boeing 737s. The pilots turn on the landing lights, illuminating our Trent XWB engines, before bringing us in for a landing on runway 25 left. We taxi around to gate 34B and can deplane into LAX. With our journey now complete, it's time to bring today's video to a close. Thanks again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. Download today using the link in the description to get an epic champion and more. Next week, we'll be back in Canada to ride on Montreal's Exo commuter rail. If you're new around here, I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. It's totally free and it really helps support the channel. If you want to go the extra mile with your support, then check out the channel's Patreon or become a channel member. If you too want your name in the video or just want to support the channel in more ways than one, then head on over to the links in the description below. But anyways, that's all I have for today. Thanks for flying with me, and I'll see you in the next one.